One thing we should note is that the aviation sector in Nigeria is extremely valuable. Let me give you one instance. Let me give you my reason for saying that. We have a vast population of uh, humans in Nigeria. Some say we have a larger population of the poor. But what I believe is that the Nigerian man is very conscious. See, it, whether it was uh, supremely designed for it to happen this way, our roads, because of what happened with the trains and insecurity, the roads, facilities, not top-notch. Most Nigerians would prefer to pay that high cost to fly, which they believe is safer than the roads. And now, because of the population, have you gone to the airports recently? You see a large turnout in Africa. We are the largest, I mean, I mean client-based largest in Africa in terms of people who patronize airlines in Africa. The statistics are there. So airlines would want to come to Nigeria knowing that whatever happens, the problem had always been high taxation. Ah, we are taxed too much. They said the Abuja airport is the highest taxed in Africa. Mm. It's so followed by the Lagos Airport. But airlines are still breaking even. Why? Because they have a large turnout of customers. Sometimes a, a friend complains that he was supposed to book a flight in, in Abuja on Tuesday. That flight never materialized. He, he, he came back to Port on Saturday because he had to wait and wait. The long list of passengers, unending list of passengers. Yes. So it is very valuable. And it is very... very. Va va yes. It is valuable to a point where... Investors who want to come in and make profit. It's, and I, 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 I like the fact that it's been made open now. The president uh, the, or the federal government has promised that they are going to reduce tax. lower down on, on, the, on, on the tax imposition. So I think it's, 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 it's going to be a very arable platform to launch and make more money. Yes, lobbying uh, foreign airline uh, operatives is very interesting. Uh, Arab, of course, uh, saw that... Uh, is it Arab Air? What do they call it? Emirates. Mm. Emirates and Etihad Airlines. They're back. Mm. And um, like you said, Nigeria has a very large population of the middle class. The middle class is broken into two, the upper mm. and the lower, lower middle, middle class. class. Mm. And we have a very large population. And of course, you see, being an investment destination in Africa, there are a lot of investors, foreigners who use the airlines. So mm. anybody operating airline business in Nigeria has a lot of of clientele mm. and, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm very happy that we have broken that on pass between Nigeria and United Arab Emirates yes. it, it will it it shows good intention it shows that we are ready for business if we, we because see the you are you attract the kind of uh, life you live by the kind of friends around you exactly. so when investors who are yet to uh, I mean, potential investors see that Arab Emirates and Etihad, um, uh, 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 Emirates Airlines and Etihad is plying the route of Nigeria. They are plying the route of Nigeria and making profit with, with ease. It will attract more investors knowing that Nigeria is ready to do business.